What's up guys, today we're talking DM coating systems, specifically at DFAB, Diamond Seas Dump Trailer Manufacturing Plant. We're gonna take you through the five steps, which is blast, wash, primer, top coat, and bake. Let's go. All right, the first section I was talking about, I said blast. And what that is, if you've heard of sandblast, it's similar to that, but we use a steel shot grit, which is much more aggressive than typical sandblast. And that's to be able to, uh, so that when the trailer comes in, you know, the metal is maybe it's been sitting outside, it comes off a truck, it's got, you know, surface uh, flash rust, it's got BBs from welding, all that kind of stuff on the outside of the metal. It goes in to this uh, bay right here on this driven line. And in here is where the applicator has uh, a gun that he is actually multiple applicators in there are going all around that trailer and they're they're using high pressure blast to blow the bbs and rust everything really clean it and get it down to its original state really nice fresh uh metal and where you don't have the contaminants and what that's doing it is prepping the metal for wash and then primer. so after trailers and parts come out of blast you can see it had to have it's kind of white whitish uh tint to the metal and that's where the blast is really knocked down and taken off the mill scale and anything that's on top layer it's really knocked it down to the, to the bare substrate which is the fresh metal next it goes into the wash bay you can see all of these these are the uh hd lids that are on lpts and we use several different types of, of uh, washing agents and solutions. There is just, you know, they rinse it first to get all the, the, the particles that were loosened up in blast, they rinse it off. Then they're using, you know, different soaps and acids and then a pH balancer, adhesion promoter, all of these things that are super necessary to prime the substrate or metal to get it ready to accept the primer in the next section. So the wash is super, super critical. Uh, blast, then wash, step one and two. Very critical to your primer actually biting in to the substrate to where it's gonna last for a long time. Next is primer. All right, I spoke too soon. We're not at primer just yet. We skipped one step between prime, or between wash and prime. We have a coarse dry oven. You see this one, this trailer and the parts coming through. This force dry oven is, uh, I don't know, it's 125 feet long. But what it's doing is it's force drying, obviously, the way that it sounds. It's getting all of the moisture from wash off before it goes into prime, which is very important. You don't want any kind of moisture under the coating because that could create blistering and the coating popping up, not wanting to, to adhere to the metal. So, and then you've got a couple of hand ones here. The uh, force dryer gets like 99% of the water out. Then they're taking hand ones and blowing the cracks and crevices to get the moisture out as well. You see all these toolboxes are lined up, got to set ramps on the hangers going into the primer booth. So let's talk primer for just one second. What has given powder such a bad rap in the trailer industry for many years was the fact that, and that there still are manufacturers who do not use a primer, which is crazy to me, but they don't use any kind of primer at all. They just put the top coat powder right over the metal or the substrate. So there's nothing keeping moisture from creeping if you ever fracture the coating from creeping. So number one, we used a primer, but not just any primer. We use a zinc enriched primer, which actually adheres to the, the pores of the metal even that much more. It is a, uh, it, it localizes issues. So if you ever do fracture or just tear off a spot of the top coat or the primer even, uh, it's not going to be able to spread. What happens with those other brands that don't use a primer or use a cheap primer, moisture is able to creep under it and spread. And then you have this 
in a few years, couple of years, you have big sheets of powder coming off, big sheets of coating. But with the zinc enriched primers, that doesn't happen. There's no way for it to. It really uh, bites into the metal, especially when it's been prepped like we prep it. If you have really good prep, but terrible or crappy primer or no primer, doesn't matter. If you have no prep and the best primer you can have, doesn't matter. Not gonna hit, not going to stand up in harsh conditions. So, really good prep with the zinc enriched primer is the way to go. And it's what really makes up uh, the, makes the DM coating system that hardy and gonna last in terrible salt spray conditions up in Canada and North Dakota or out down by the coast in Florida, uh, any of these areas where you have uh, just things that are harsh on coatings, the zinc enriched primer really helps. So let's take a look at the primer book. You see how they're applicating it and then we'll move on to top coat. The primer really does go on, like you can see, as a pixie dust powder. It's just fogging it on and the powder is sitting there on top of the substrate. Right. Now we're in the top coat booth. So after your primer down there, we enter into a different booth. You can see behind me, we have a, a rack of ramps that have been top coated. And basically what it is, it's a dry on dry product. That means that the primer went on as dry powder, then the top coat goes over that as dry powder, and then it'll be all baked together. It's called one, a one cure technology from Sherwin Williams specifically developed for trailer industry and is a lights out uh, product. It's, it's super stout coating. It actually takes the top coat and the primer and bonds them together and then to the substrate or the metal of the trailer. Really cool product uh, by Sherwood Williams. But you can see behind me, there's a pit in the ground so that when trailers come through, the guys can uh, take and be able to cover guys and gals take and cover the entirety of the trailer and they are can get the bottom side really well nice and even where the entire trailer gets encapsulated with the one cure technology product uh, some other manufacturers don't have fits and so you'll see the top looks all nice and shiny then you get up onto the bottom and you're like oh man you know, it just is kind of lackluster but we want to make sure they get good solid coverage all around the trailer all right, moving on from the top coat. What's up, Spike? Moving from the top coat, you can see right here, the, they're coming down this driven line. Here's where the magic happens. This is a uh, force cure oven. The oven it operates at about 400 degrees and everything is timed so many feet a minute on this driven line so that it has the, the right amount of dwell time in the oven. And when it goes in there, it takes and melts the powder and makes it do what they call gels it. And when it gels, it encapsulates the, the metal that it's around and then comes out the other end looking really beautiful, shiny, and 99.9% uh, .9 cured. It's durable and it can go straight to work right after you know, it comes out of the oven. All right, that was our fifth and final step. This is the cure oven. We were just, we were down here at the other end, down at the other end. And now the trailer comes out this end after probably, I don't know, quite 30 minutes, 40 minutes of travel time through the oven and comes out and everything looks beautiful, nice and uh, shiny now, finished. You can see this is a cement gray one. It would have been super dull and matte, but now you can see it has gelled up and is really beautiful. So we'll take go take a look at a couple of others. Like I was saying, I just want to reiterate, you know, when we were working with Sherwin Williams developing the DM coating system and the other, oh, the other vendors that, that supply like the wash uh, solutions and the blast media, that kind of stuff, you know, they were very, uh, very excited to work on a project where we weren't going to sacrifice anything, not one step. You'll see other other manufacturers, they said that it'll do this piece and this piece, but not this. And just at the end of the day, not have, you know, a great, great coating and, uh, or they'll sacrifice for in the name of a few dollars, you know, to, to be able to put that at their bottom line or whatever. 
you know, whatever the, the, the reason be is that they sacrifice. But when we set out to build the DM coding system and develop with these guys, we, we wanted to sacrifice nothing because we know what this investment means to you and to the users that are putting them to work every day. So anyways, here is a beautiful lime green. You can kind of see how the finish comes out. I mean, it is just beautiful. That was the goal. The goal was extraordinary finish that's not only beautiful, doesn't look good for just a, a few months, but looks good for the lifetime of the trailer. Jump on our website. You can go in and see all the different colors that are available. There are more videos on the DM coding system on the Learning Center on the Diamond C website. And that's it for today, guys. We'll see you on the road.